Residents are incensed about the killing. Inside court, tensions just as palpable. Some screamed abuse at the accused. We were angry, so I was also very, very angry about this thing that was happening at NY78. And uh, this is the first time, and uh, it will never happen again. We don't want to, uh, to, to give a revenge. No, we want only the Lord to take his course. We want justice. Later in the day, they returned to the murder scene, threatening to burn down the suspect's house. He lived in a rented shack in the neighbor's backyard. Little Aten Korsi and Korni's body was found here. On Friday night, hundreds of residents gathered on the streets as news of the killing spread. Police today declined to comment on rumors that it was a Muti killing. I don't want actually any, nothing, the community interrupt the investigation of the officers, so nothing much actually. What is done is done because there's nothing that's going to bring my child back. Only God knows. The accused, Akonam Gijima, was the boy's neighbor. He told the court he would conduct his own defense. He's been remanded in custody till the 17th of this month for a bail application.